Thank you very much, Alice, for your eloquence and your presence tonight. We're deeply grateful to you and the entire Albright family for all you've done and continue to do in support of an effort that Madeline felt so strongly about. Let me also express my heartfelt gratitude to each of you tonight as we join together to celebrate a remarkable evening as we pay tribute to our beloved chair's life and legacy. In her memory, we're also here to honor three extraordinary European leaders, as well as the courageous people of Ukraine, who struggle in fortitude in the name of democratic freedom, humbles us all. Let me also reiterate our gratitude to NDI's sister organizations, our partners from the National Endowment of Democracy, USAID, the State Department's Bureau of Democracy, Human Rights, and Labor, as well as all of those from the Biden administration and members of Congress who are with us tonight. We thank each of them for their extraordinary support at this critical moment for the future of democracy around the world. <clears throat> it's very gratifying, especially to me tonight, to assert again that promoting international democracy has enjoyed a long-standing bipartisan level of support. In this unfortunate age of divisive partnership, I know that I speak for everyone tonight in expressing the hope that we can sustain that bipartisan support in the months and years ahead. To that end, on behalf of the entire NDI board, I want to thank our global team for their tireless efforts alongside our global partners undertaken these days under increasingly challenging circumstances. We're extraordinarily grateful for the hard work of our regional, functional, and administrative teams in Washington and over 50 countries abroad. And I especially want to thank our President Derek Mitchell for his leadership, the entire executive leadership team at NDI that includes NDI's new COO, Olya Kato, NDI's new Chief Development Officer, Janella Ferguson, in addition to Ramon Nickens, Spencer Pogue, and everyone who helped put this evening together as we celebrate Madeleine Albright's legacy. Thank you again to each of them. <clears throat> Madeleine Albright inspired me. I know she inspired many of you. Over her many years of public service, her life story, her leadership in promoting democracy at home and abroad really left an indelible mark. She served not only as a mentor to me, but I think as a role model for so many of us who seek to make a difference in the world. And the irony is that today, we need her voice more than ever. The world and NDI are an inflection point where democracy faces unseen challenges, some that we've never experienced before. Those challenges range from a growing presence of domestic demagogues to the rise of international autocrats bent on shaping a world governed by autocracy. From the spread of illicit finance to the impact of COVID, climate change, and other environmental conditions. From the failure of many democracies to deliver, as Madeleine so often warned, to the emergence of digital platforms often structured to divide, to inflame, 
and distort through the proliferation of mis- and disinformation. Information is the lifeblood of democracy. Its subversion poses arguably the most profound challenge to democracy in all of its ramifications today. But as we struggle to balance our democratic rights with our responsibilities as citizens in free societies, autocracies increasingly pose grave threats as they block access to facts and opinions inconvenient with their false narratives of success and superiority. Yet we continue to see democratic opportunities emerging often driven by women and young people, whether they're in Iran, Myanmar, Sudan, Lebanon, Cuba, Ukraine, or right here at home. We must recognize the democratic energy that remains and harness it to the best of our ability to help shape a world that conforms to the values of individual human dignity that lie at the heart of international peace and security. All these factors underscore the need for unrelenting determination, persistence, creativity, and commitment. That's what Madeline represented in her life and her work and what I, as NDI's chair, will seek to advance as we continue to build our vital mission. We will need the support of each of you as we process. Your presence tonight is an affirmation, a real affirmation of that support. And I know I speak for our entire board in expressing our heartfelt gratitude to each of you for that. 